Investigators revealed a new detail tied to a deadly police shooting of a teenager inside Austin East High School. One month into the case, authorities charged a 21 year old man for buying the gun for 17 year old Anthony Thompson Jr. The one he had with him inside that school bathroom. That gun proved critical evidence in the decision by Knox County prosecutors not to charge the officer who shot and killed that teenager. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan shows us how investigators say that gun purchase and exchange how it went down. In newly released federal court documents, ATF agents say Kelvin Foster provided Anthony Thompson Jr. the gun he had when he died. Just a week before the deadly police shooting in an Austinese school bathroom, the agents say Foster and Thompson went to a North Knoxville gun store. Agents say Thompson picked this Glock 45 and Foster bought it for him in exchange for money and marijuana. Thompson was 17, too young to purchase the gun himself. What's called a straw man purchaser, that is where someone purchases a firearm for somebody else. For that exchange, defense attorney T. Scott Jones says Foster could face a year of federal prison time. The federal charge, if he's convicted, will likely involve him serving a substantial amount of time in the federal penitentiary. He's also facing a misdemeanor state charge for providing a gun to a minor. It's that Glock, prosecutors say, fired first during a struggle with police in the AE bathroom. The DA points to this body camera image showing the gun in Thompson's sweatshirt pocket. She says because of the gun and the gun shot, Officer Jonathan Claybo was justified in shooting Thompson. I believe it was reasonable for him to believe that all the other officers in the room uh, were potentially in danger. Court documents say Foster admitted to providing Thompson with the gun. He said the two had known each other for more than a decade. Reporting from Knoxville, I'm Cole Sullivan. Foster is out of jail on pretrial release. The TBI says he has no adult criminal record in Tennessee. Right now online, we have the timeline of what happened the day Anthony Thompson Jr. was shot and killed. Plus, watch the District Attorney General's full presentation of the body camera video. And you can find resources to help the Austin East community. All that on the WBIR app.